Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Jawan Jennings officially signs one-year tender to stay with 49ers. It took a little time to make official, but Jawan Jennings is coming back to the 49ers. The San Francisco 49ers wideout signed his one-year RFA tender with the team Wednesday, making it official with an Instagram post. Jennings' deal is reportedly worth $4.9 million for 2024, with the red and gold hoping to negotiate a long-term deal in the near future. The team announced the second-round tender of Jennings last week. Jawan Jennings, 26, entered the 2024 offseason as a restricted free agent. While the 49ers held right of refusal over the player, they still had to decide on what tender to use. They placed the second-highest option on the WR, meaning if he signed with another team, that team would have to hand over a second one-round selection. SF still retained the right to match, however, it was not needed, putting pen to paper Wednesday. We on year four, for real, for real, let's go. Ain't no stopping, the player wrote on his social media post. Jennings has blossomed with the 49ers, drafted in the seventh round of the 2020 NFL Draft. The Tennessee native has carved out a significant role in SF since, becoming the offense's third WR option. He has also excelled in the run game, becoming one of the best blockers of the NFL wideout group. The University of Tennessee alum has amassed 963 receiving yards and seven touchdowns in 45 regular season games. He has also come up big in playoff scenarios, including Super Bowl 58. Jawan Jennings is now a fan favorite in the Bay, nicknamed Third and Jawan for his reliability. The veteran WR will look to finish the job in 2024, hoping to go on another Super Bowl run with the 49ers. Why extending Colton McKivitz was a good move by the 49ers. The San Francisco 49ers surprised some of their fans when they extended right tackle Colton McKivitz on a one-year, $5.85 million deal worth up to $7 million, tying him under contract through the 2025 season. With the move, many assumed that McKivitz would be pegged in as the starter at right tackle for the upcoming season following an up-and-down 2023 year. However, the 49ers' free agency moves, matched with McKivitt's contract, have placed them in a position to go best player available in the early rounds of the 2024 NFL Draft, which could very well be a tackle prospect to compete with the incumbent option, be it this offseason or for the future. While McKivitt's $7 million extension may seem hefty, the 49ers' structure actually made it a good signing for both sides, providing the player with financial security and the team with flexibility, understanding that the right tackle could start if a replacement isn't found in the draft. McKivitt's one-year extension is tacked onto his current deal, which was a two-year, $4.6 million contract that he signed last offseason. With the extension in place, McKivitt's cap hit actually decreased this season, while the 49ers added three void years to the deal to absorb his signing bonus for the extension. His 2024 salary decreased from $2.5 million to $1.125 million, while the $3.41 million signing bonus has now been prorated through the 2028 season. Here are his cap hits for the next few seasons. 2024, $2.913 million, 2025, $4.678 million, 2026, $2.338 million, void. The move gives the 49ers options after the 2024 season, as they could keep McKivitz on his current deal, letting him play out the remainder of his contract. They could also extend him again, or move off his contract and eat a $3.16 million dead cap charge, while saving $1.5 million in cap space. Even if McKivitz just plays out the remainder of his contract, it would be at a normal salary for a swing tackle and a cheap contract for a starter, while the $2.3 million dead cap hit in 2026 would be fairly small. 
Should the cards remain as they are, McKivitz would enter next season as the 49er starter at right tackle, but the team would have continuity, with the 27-year-old getting another year under his belt, while San Francisco kept its starting line from a season ago. However, the key to McKivitt's extension and the team's free agency moves was flexibility. The 49ers are in a prime position to select an offensive tackle in this year's loaded top-heavy class, putting themselves in a good position for the future. But, should the player they draft not be pro-ready enough come week one, the 49ers would then have a fallback option they'd be comfortable with in McKivitz, who has a year of starting experience under his belt. More importantly, they're not attaching much money to the position, be it with McKivitt's contract or a player on a rookie contract, finding cost-effective solutions to fill the void. Now, McKivitt's isn't an elite option by any means at right tackle. It's fair to say that he's probably average to below average, given his play in 2023. But, he's a cheap alternative that allows the 49ers to truly go into the 2024 NFL draft without worrying about filling needs in the early rounds, which is where they've struggled in the past. NFL fans are speculating about a huge Pittsburgh Steelers blockbuster trade for 2024. NFL fans have been treated to a crazy free agency this season. Many star players have been moving around, and now many NFL and Pittsburgh Steelers fans are speculating about a huge potential trade that could go down before the draft. The Steelers have been extremely busy in free agency. The team let go both of their quarterbacks and signed both Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. Now fans think the team is going to trade for an elite receiver, Brandon Ayak. This all started on Tuesday afternoon after the San Francisco 49er star wide receiver Ayuk posted this message on X, at Coach Tomlin they saying we twins. What you think? It is noteworthy that this is the first post by Ayuk in almost a year, which very well could be just a coincidence. But many NFL fans are not buying that all and think this is a call for a trade. After the Steelers traded one of their top receivers, they may be in business to go and get another guy for Wilson in his first year with the team. Many fans were very quick to say this post meant that Ayuk wants a trade out of the 49ers. Here are some of the top reactions on Twitter to the viral post, Oh, it's happening, a Steelers fan wrote. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Another fan of the Steelers tweeted, It's happening y'all. We are so back. I think I need to see Ayuk in a Steelers uniform, to really be sure, a social media user commented. It should be noted as well that Andrew Filipponi of 93.7, the fan was quoted saying that the Steelers looked into acquiring Ayuk. It would be a huge trade for both teams, and it is unclear if the 49ers would be interested in the trade. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation, Brandon Ayuk? Leave your opinion in the comments.